Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Steffis King Entrepreneurship, a place for future successful entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to explore an essential topic, generational wealth. It's a concept that isn't just about amassing riches, but about leaving a legacy that can provide for your loved ones long after you're gone. It's about making strategic decisions today that will echo positively in the lives of those who come after you. And this isn't just for the super rich. Anyone can start building generational wealth, and we're going to show you how. Throughout this journey, we will be breaking down the concept into six digestible steps. We will discuss fostering a healthy relationship with money, teaching children about budgeting and debt, the power of investing over hoarding cash, the importance of estate planning, the role of life insurance, and how to optimize tax and estate laws. Each step is a piece of the puzzle, and together, they form a comprehensive strategy to build and sustain wealth across generations. So, buckle up as we dive into the first step to building generational wealth. Step 1. Fostering a healthy relationship with money. This relationship is a cornerstone to building generational wealth. But what does it mean to have a healthy relationship with money? Well, it starts with understanding how money works. It's about knowing that money is not just a tool for buying things, but also a means to create opportunities and secure your future. Imagine money as a friend. You need to know this friend well, understand its nature, its quirks. Just as you would with a friend, you need to spend time with money, get comfortable with it. This means knowing where every penny of your income goes, be it towards expenses, savings or investments. It's also about gaining knowledge. Financial literacy isn't just for accountants or Wall Street whizzes, it's for everyone. Understand the basics of budgeting, debt management and investing. Inform yourself about concepts like interest rates and inflation. This knowledge is power, and it's the power that will help you make informed decisions about your money. Finally, it's about respect. Respect money for the opportunities it can provide, but don't let it control you. Money is a resource, not a master. So, don't let the pursuit of wealth consume you. Instead, use it as a tool to achieve your goals and secure your family's future. Mastering your money starts with a healthy relationship with it. Now, on to step two, scene script. Step two involves teaching your children about budgeting and debt. In building generational wealth, one of the most instrumental steps is equipping the younger generation with financial literacy. This is a gift that keeps giving, as it sets a solid foundation for them to make informed financial decisions. Imagine your children understanding the value of a budget, not as a restriction, but as a roadmap to financial freedom, teaching them how to plan their spending, save for the future, and avoid unnecessary debt can be crucial. How about a game of Monopoly, or a fun family challenge where everyone tries to save a certain amount over a specified period? Remember, the goal is to make learning about money management engaging and relatable. Debt management is another crucial aspect. It's about understanding that while debt can be a useful tool when used wisely, it can also become a chain that limits financial growth if not managed properly. Illustrate this with real-life examples. Perhaps share stories of people who have successfully managed their debt or those who have struggled due to lack of knowledge. Moreover, consider encouraging your children to earn their own money. Whether it's through chores, a part-time job, or a small business venture, earning and managing their own money can provide valuable lessons about budgeting and debt. Educating the next generation can be the key to sustaining wealth. Now let's move on to step three. For step three, we have a golden rule, invest, don't hoard. You see, keeping your money in cash is like keeping a bird in a cage. It's safe, sure, but it's not going to soar. Investing, on the other hand, allows your money to spread its wings and take flight. Think about it this way. When you keep your money in cash, it's static. It doesn't grow. It doesn't evolve. It just sits there, collecting dust. But when you invest, your money has the potential to multiply, to create wealth beyond the original amount. There are a plethora of investment options out there, each with its own set of risks and rewards. Stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, startup investments, the list goes on. Your choice will depend on your financial goals, the amount of capital you have, and your tolerance for risk. 
If you're risk averse, bonds or mutual funds might be your cup of tea. They're generally considered safer investments, but the potential for returns is also lower. If you're a risk taker, you might be drawn to stocks or real estate, which can offer higher returns, but also come with a higher risk. Remember, investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a long-term strategy, a marathon, not a sprint. It requires patience, resilience, and a keen understanding of market trends. But when done right, investing can be a powerful tool for wealth creation. So, break open that piggy bank, release those caged birds and let your money soar. Because the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Investing is a powerful tool for wealth creation. Let's explore step four. Step four is all about planning for the future with estate planning. Now you might be thinking, estate planning? That sounds complicated. But don't worry, it's less daunting than it seems. Estate planning is essentially a roadmap for your wealth when you're no longer here to guide it. It's about making sure your assets, whether that's property, investments, or even your beloved vintage car collection, go exactly where you want them to. And most importantly, it's about safeguarding your wealth for your loved ones, for those future generations you're building this wealth for in the first place. Imagine, if you will, a relay race. You're the first runner, and you've got the baton. That's your wealth. Your job is to pass it on to the next runner, your heirs, as smoothly as possible. That's what estate planning does. It's the coach that shows you how to pass the baton without dropping it or causing a fumble. So how do you start estate planning? Firstly, it's crucial to have an updated will that clearly states who should inherit your assets. You might also want to consider setting up trusts for your children or grandchildren, which can offer tax benefits as well as ensuring the money is used wisely. And remember, estate planning isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process that should be reviewed and updated regularly, especially after major life events like marriage, divorce, or the birth of a child. Estate planning ensures your wealth benefits your loved ones. Now, let's check out step five. Step five is to utilize life insurance effectively. Now, life insurance isn't just about providing for your loved ones in the event of your untimely demise. It's a strategic tool for wealth preservation and transfer. Think about it. Life insurance can serve as a safety net, safeguarding your assets and providing a financial buffer for your family when they need it most. It's a versatile tool that can be tailored to meet your unique needs and objectives. There are various types of life insurance, each with their own potential benefits. Term life insurance, for instance, offers coverage for a specific period. It's straightforward and generally more affordable, making it a popular choice for many. On the other hand, there's whole life insurance, which provides coverage for your entire lifetime and builds cash value over time. This cash value can be borrowed against or even withdrawn during your lifetime, providing additional financial flexibility. Then there's universal life insurance, which combines the benefits of term and whole life insurance, offering flexible premiums and a cash value component. It's a bit more complex, but can be an effective tool for wealth accumulation and preservation. Remember, it's important to choose the type of life insurance that aligns with your financial goals and family's needs. Consult with a financial advisor or insurance expert to help navigate these choices. Properly utilized life insurance can safeguard your wealth. Let's move on to the final step. Finally, step six, optimize tax and estate laws. This step is the linchpin that secures the continuity of generational wealth. Understanding and utilizing tax and estate laws can significantly influence how your wealth is preserved and passed on. Tax laws can be intricate and nuanced. Their complexity should not deter you, but rather motivate you to delve deeper. By optimizing these laws, you can mitigate tax liabilities and safeguard your wealth. This includes capital gains, tax, inheritance tax, and even property tax, all of which could potentially erode your hard-earned wealth if not managed smartly. Estate laws, on the other hand, govern the transfer of assets upon death. Properly navigating these laws ensures your wealth is distributed according to your wishes, minimizing disputes and maintaining harmony within the family. A solid understanding of these laws helps in creating a robust and effective estate plan. 
However, it's crucial to remember that while self-education is important, the world of tax and estate laws is often complex and ever-changing. Seeking professional advice is beneficial and recommended. Tax consultants and estate lawyers can provide valuable insights tailored to your specific circumstances, ensuring you make the most out of these laws. Optimizing tax and estate laws can protect your wealth from unnecessary losses. It's not just about amassing wealth, but also about preserving and strategically distributing it. This way, you're not just building wealth for yourself, but also laying a solid foundation for generations to come. So, those were the six steps to build generational wealth. The first step is fostering a healthy relationship with money. Remember, money is not an enemy, but a tool that can help you achieve your goals. The second step is teaching your children about budgeting and debt. Start them young, so they grow up with a good understanding of financial responsibility. The third step is to invest instead of keeping cash. Your money should work for you, not just sit around. The fourth step is having an updated and funded estate plan. It's not just for the wealthy, but a crucial part of securing your family's future. The fifth step is to utilize life insurance. It's a safety net that can protect your family if something happens to you. And finally, the sixth step is to optimize tax and estate laws. It might sound complicated, but with the right advice, you can make the most of these laws to your benefit. So there you have it, folks. Six steps to building generational wealth. It's a journey, not a destination. And remember, it's never too late to start. So roll up your sleeves and get started today. Subscribe to Steffi's King Entrepreneurship for more videos. And until next time.